Hi, today I'm gonna to show you how to make body scrub. I love this body scrub. It's really easy to make. Um, what I like about it is just the smell. I love the smell of it. And then I love that it's so relaxing. When you're taking a shower, to spread this all over your body is just very relaxing. And then it also really helps with dry skin. I have a problem, of course, with dry feet, gross. Um, but I like putting some on my feet and then just it just moisturizes my whole body, so I really um, love that. And then you do have to kind of be careful, especially if you're putting it on your feet, because since it's an oil-based product, you don't want to slip and fall, so you do have to be careful with that. But I also love that it makes a super great gift idea. You know, during Christmas time where you want to give a gift to like everybody, this is one of those things that you can afford to do. And um, you know, your co coworkers, your friends, your neighbors, all those kind of people, this is just one of those gifts that is just really appreciated after they receive it. I mean, I don't even think they know when you first give it to them how much they're going to love it, but then after they try it, you're going to get hints, kind of asking for next Christmas maybe some more. So, body scrub. We're going to go ahead and get started with our body scrub. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, of course, is to get all your ingredients ready. And there's really not a lot involved with this body scrub. So you need white granulated sugar, you need some coconut oil. Now, I just kind of find um, a good deal on coconut oil. I don't usually use the high quality organic um, cooking oil for, or coconut oil for the body scrub. I save that more for the coconut oil I'm actually going to eat. So anyways, coconut oil and then um, some food coloring. And then the other thing that you need is some sort of essential or fragrance oil that you can add to um, whatever body scrub you're going to make. And you kind of want to decide what kind of scent you like the best. Um, so I have the honeysuckle and the orange and um, spearmint. And these I just got from Botanical Spa. They're just regular fragrance oils. And then I have the peppermint. So just kind of decide some other ones that are really good is there's um, lavender. And then um, my daughter had one that was actually a relaxing fragrance. I don't know what it was called. I think it was called relaxing uh, fragrance. But anyways, so find one that you really like and one that you think other people would like. You kind of, uh, depending on who you're giving it to, you might want to change up the scents. But anyways, those are all the ingredients that you need and you're ready to go ahead and start making up your batch of um, body scrub. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to heat up your coconut oil. You want to put it in the microwave for like 20, 30 seconds. It's going to depend on um, how, uh, how hot it is in your house already because if it's really pretty warm, your coconut oil, like mine, might already be pretty close to melted. So anyways, you want to go ahead and put it into liquid form, turn it into liquid form. So you want one quarter cup of coconut oil and then you're going to just go ahead and pour it in the bowl. Okay, so then once you have your coconut oil in there, you want to go ahead and pour in three quarters cup um, of the sugar. Okay, so just go ahead and pour that in there. And then you want to go ahead and mix it all up. Move this out of my way, scrape some in there, and then just mix it all up. And then you want to be thinking about what kind of fragrance you want to add. And the reason that that's important, you know, when you're making your um, your scrub is, you also want to match it with the proper food coloring. So like if I'm doing the spearmint, then I would probably use the green food coloring. If I'm doing the um, orange, then of course I'm gonna do like the, uh, make an orangish food coloring. Okay, so that would be the red and the yellow together. Um, all right, so now I've gone ahead and I've stirred it all up. And if you feel like it's just too moist, you can add a little bit more sugar, but this is really a pretty good consistency because um, especially if you make it like way ahead of time, like you know, months or a month before Christmas or whatever, you don't want it to dry out too much before you give it to somebody. And then even if it does dry out, just usually adding a little bit of water um, once you're in the shower, then that kind of moistens it up as well. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the spearmint oil. I'm out of it. I'm out of the spearmint oil in my bathroom, so I wanna go ahead and put some in there. And I'm gonna put about 15 drops, so I mean, I don't really need to count them all out, but I wanna go ahead and, and put, put about 15 drops in there. And then since I went ahead and used the spearmint oil, I'm gonna go with um, a green food coloring. Hopefully I still have some green food coloring. Okay, so three or four drops. Um, all right, 
So, and if you start mixing it up and you feel like it's not dark enough, you want it a little bit darker, you can always add some more. <clears throat> and then just stir everything all up. And that's about it. I mean, really, there's your scrub. And you can already smell, oh my gosh, it smells just so nice, so refreshing. I love it. And get it all mixed up because you don't want big chunks of food coloring in there. That's another reason that you don't want to overuse the food coloring, especially in the beginning. Like I said, it's easier to go back and add some more um, if you feel like it's it needs more, but this is really the perfect color. You don't want it too much darker than that. So think about you know trying some different fragrances and then um, just make sure that it's all mixed up. Okay, so now that I have it all mixed up, I wanna go ahead and put it in separate um, containers. This one, my daughter's already labeled, so uh, Spearmint Body Scrub. I have I told you I was already out of mine, so I'm going to reuse this container. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some more in there. And, um, you know, you can find smaller jars. So whatever size jar you like, depending on how much of this you want to make up. I thought this was really just a nice size. I mean, it wasn't something that people were going to run out of really quickly. Um, but just uh, really a nice little idea here. So, again, you can find all kinds of different jars. I think I got this at Michael's, probably for about $2. I think I probably even used one of their little um, uh, coupons. So you can see this one actually made, this batch actually made enough for one jar. And so I'm ready to go ahead and make up a batch of a different um, So, and then just kind of smooth it out in there, get it all in there and clean it up a little bit, especially if you're going to um, turn it into a nice little gift. <clears throat> then I'm just gonna go ahead and put the top on it. And it's already marked for me, Spearmint Body Scrub, and my body scrub is ready to go. Now, again, if I wanted to make this into a gift, turn this into a gift, I would go ahead and um, put some ribbons around them and just have a little ribbon right here already. And then, again, it just makes it an extra special. You put a name tag on it or something, and it just makes a really nice um, gift for whoever you want to give one to. Okay, so I found my lavender oil and went ahead and made up a batch of my lavender scrub. Now the only thing different, same exact recipe, the only thing difference, what only difference was that I used two drops of blue and two drops of red of the food coloring in order to make the more purplish color because it's the lavender. So I want the, the color again to kind of match. Now if you were gonna make um, you know two or three batches of this particular scent, then you just double or triple the recipe. It's the same exact ingredients, just times however many um, jars you want. So really great gift idea for others and also a special treat for yourself. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.